So Salman, what do you make of uh, Gennady Golovkin hiring Jonathan Banks as his new trainer? Um, you know, we know that, you know, a lot of people are not happy with this new hiring. They think he's a yes man and a guy that shouldn't really be in Triple G's corner. You know, he's, yes, he's been... He's been in high profile fights with Vladimir Klitschko, but a lot of people think he was, you know, Emmanuel Stewart's right hand man. And because Vladimir Klitschko just wanted a yes man, he, he just had Jonathan Banks. Whereas we know that Emmanuel Stewart wasn't a yes man, he was a legendary trainer. Um, obviously, we know that Gennady Golovkin had his, had his uh, disputes with Abel Sanchez. And, um, you know, it was all to do with money. We know that Abel Sanchez put in a lot of work. Um, to, and, and, you know, it's, it's not fair on a trainer that puts in a lot of work and then when Golovkin gets into a position where he's making shed loads of money to say, well, I'm only going to give you a fifth now what I was giving you before. You know, he's, if, 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 if a trainer's getting 10% of what you were making previously, you should get 10% of when you're making huge money. Now, um, Jonathan Banks is somebody that he's hired because I think he knows that Jonathan Banks is, is going to accept anything because Jonathan Banks hasn't got um, any fighters and he probably thought, let, let me just take this opportunity because it'll still be a lot of money. I'm what was sure. Triple G's contract anyways? You know how, how much he's getting for how many fights? I think it's something, 100 million or something. That's a lot of money, man, 100 million. Yeah. Even. So what, that'll be, if he has whatever fights he signed, however many fights he signed with his own, that's yeah. probably for what, like 10 fights? No, less than that, I think. Less than that. Uh, I think it's something like that, 100 million for four or five fights, something like that. Four or five fights? Something like that. That's so, 20 million per fight, man. Yeah, 10% so, of that's quite a lot of money, man. Yeah, so, but that's what I'm saying. But he wasn't giving Abel Sanchez 10% of that. Apparently, he was saying he was offering him way less than that. Now, Abel Sanchez said, I couldn't take that just because of the way I am. I felt disrespected because I put in all that work and then all of a sudden, he's offering me less money. Um, and whereas Jonathan Banks probably was okay with that kind of money. Mm. Do you think this was all to do with money? Or do you think this was to do with... Something else. Money. Money. Of course it is. Mate, like, if you're giving someone, if you're giving someone um, 10% and you're making 20 million per fight, that's 2 million to the trainer. Mm. That's a lot of money for a trainer, 2 million pounds, 2 mm -hmm. million dollars. Mm -hmm. You know, he's probably thinking that, Do you know what, I'm old now, I want to cash out. Mm. So that's why he made the decision. It's not like he must have, Abel Sanchez must have made some decent money of Triple G. Like, mm you got to realise it's the fighter's choice, you know? Like, it's not like he's putting Abel Sanchez in a... He, he chose to train with Abel Sanchez. Although, yeah, there's loyalty, this, that, the other. But in business, there's no loyalty. You have to think about yourself. Like, th that's the saying. Like, some people are not loyal. Like, no matter how long they stay with you, people move on. Like, they think, to, they think that, all right, I'm 35 now. Well, I've got another three, four years. I'd rather, I'd rather go with a trainer that's going to take peanuts so I can maximise my wealth. Because at the end of the day, Abel Sanchez isn't going to be able to do anything for Triple G after. So he's probably thinking, I'll make the most money I can. Yeah. So, for example, if, um, if Triple G makes 20 million, his trainer might only be getting, what, maybe 500k now to a million rather than 2 million. Hmm. Or maybe even less than that. He might even take less than 500,000 to fight. But... Yeah. Maybe that's the that's why it's definitely to do with money. He's already stated it. It's to do with money, and he wasn't willing. Look, Golovkin, DAZN, you got to realize DAZN are pe paying people crazy money, money that Golovkin's never seen before. That contract of Golovkin, he's never seen that money. He's not been making that money, hundred million. Like the only people that make that type of money is like Mayweather, Canelo. That's it. This guy wasn't seeing oh. that type of money, nor was Canelo. That's why they've all signed to DAZN. Because they know DAZN is the money. No, nothing can compare to DAZN at the moment. All right. So, so, guys, um, what I want you to do is leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Obviously, we know that Golovkin is signed with Jonathan Banks. What do you make of the new uh, hiring of the new trainer? Uh, a lot of people are not happy with it. They think he's a yes man. Leave your thoughts. And, guys, remember to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.